In this lecture, we are going to fit our doors in Revit. But before that, we are going to do uh, some modifications in this uh, plan. As you can see, if I show you the image here of this plan, you can clearly see that this is. Uh, we can make this uh, plan much more better by just keeping this wall from this end, and then we are going to match it with this level. So how are we going to do that? We will see in this lecture. And after that, we obviously we are going to place our doors. So for that, what you have to do is first of all, let's go to Revit. And here, what I'm going to do is I will just simply select uh, this wall here. And after selecting on that, I can just, you can see that this drag button here. I can just simply select and drag that off button just like this one. So basically this is the interior part. So I can just simply select on that. And after selecting that, I can again click on this uh, wall here. You can see again with the help of this, I can drag it up to this end. You can see and now you can clearly see that we have successfully managed uh, our plan and we have successfully joined these walls uh, without an issue and now this one is looking much more better so now that we have uh, done this thing it's time to move on and it's time to place our doors in the walls so as you can see that we have three different walls the d1 uh, the d d1 and d2 so for that what you can do is if you want to place the doors obviously i have shown you how you can do that but let's see how we can do in these things in practical way so obviously you can just simply type dr from your keyboard to uh, bring that uh, command and after that what you can do is uh, either you can choose a door from here or if you want then you can actually choose the door from the you can load family as well so let's simply go and try to click on load family and here i can see that right now i'm in english and us so in in your case it might be india or some other country so you have to go there or if even if you're following me you can just simply click on this us and after that obviously we are interested in doors so let's simply double click on that and from here you will get all these doors here so basically this is the commercial plan so instead of choosing any uh, door from here i will suggest you to go to commercial and you will see a list like this so now let's say if you want to make this one bigger because right now you are seeing everything in list you can just simply use control and mouse scroll wheel you can zoom in just like that and after that it will show you a preview of the doors that you're going that you will be using so for example let's say i want to use this door in that case all i need is just to simply select on that and click on open and after that from here you have to select the type you can see that there's a width and there's a height so uh, let's uh, choose the door so basically first of all i will go with this 715 to 21 uh, 2100 mm so i will just simply uh, control and left click on that one and after that i will just uh, simply scroll down so let's uh, choose this control and left click this door here after that let's uh, look for some other door okay uh, let's go above now let's again after that let's simply select on that and after that you just simply need to click on ok and you will see your doors here in a minute and now you can see that these are the doors that we have actually imported from this region so if you want to place the door let's say you want to place uh, so all you need is just to simply select the door and after selecting that let's first of all let's look at our plan you can see that we have our d and d door on this side so let's choose the door and i will choose this one as a 150 uh, let's go with this one which is 900 into 2400 let's simply select on that and if you look here you can clearly see that now you can easily able to uh, uh, fit your doors on uh, any direction you want so you can see that we have a door on this side and on this side so first of all let's place the door on this side so i'm going to place the door at 0.1 meter you can see the distance here how this one is changing so we have to place the door at 0.1 meter distance from the wall and all i need is just to simply do a single click and you have successfully placed the door and you can see that tag on placement is on make sure that this one is on so that you can change these things later now that you have done this thing let's look where exactly place our doors so you have to place the doors on this side okay so on this side on the office region so let's simply select on that on this region so uh, you can see let's zoom in in this region 
and make sure that this one is 0 0.1 meter you can see that this is 0 0.1 meter again you can simply select on that and you can see that you have successfully placed the door now it's time to place the another door which is d1 okay so obviously the size of uh, d1 is less than this so let's simply go here and let's simply select uh, a door from here so i will be using uh, this one 715 to 2100 and after that i will just simply take my mouse cursor you can see that how this one is giving so you can just use a space to flip the door on the on the another side you can see you have to choose the distance which is 0 0.1 meter again you can just simply select on that this is door number three and now let's uh, put the doors on the toilet you can see that this is d2 on this side so let's simply select on that uh, so let's choose this door size on this side at 0 0.1 meter actually okay okay and now you can see that we have successfully select uh, place all our doors after that you can just simply press escape and now what we are going to do is if you feel that this one is not looking that good as you can see that the numbers and all these things are looking much more bigger in that case you can just simply go here on the uh, scale you can just simply reduce this to 1 is to 50 to make this one look much more better now let's rename this so if you want to rename this obviously i have shown you that thing in the in the previous lectures as well so this time what i will do is i will just simply select that uh, door from here after that i will just simply type sa select all and because these two doors these two doors are similar it means that i, I have type sa that means similar object has been selected so now I, I already know that this one is d doors okay the dimensions and all these things of these doors are same so in that case i will go to mark okay you can see that this says varies so you can just simply select on that after that you can just simply type d and then you can just simply go here uh, element okay you can see that now this one is d after that this one is d1 so again uh, you can just simply select on that and you can just directly do it from here as well d1 this is d2 so in this way you have to place your doors in revit